Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Digital Art with Jesus Conde, and today we're going to be painting Katra from Shira. So, the first thing that I do is trying to be as loose as possible and free from like any idea that, that what I'm doing is wrong or whatever. I try to do a sketch um, without, without thinking that I'll have to be like super accurate to the to the reference right so the first thing is that I'm trying to free myself from thinking then what I'm doing is wrong so uh, or at least that that's my thought process so that the idea of the character comes out uh, easier so I'm trying kind of to make it look like the reference right now but I'm not really that like interested on that part um, I'm more interested in like the idea first and as you can see very quickly I was trying to do maybe something with a short hair because I saw an image of Katra with a short hair but I immediately changed my mind making it like a little bit long kind of like a kind of like a tail in the in the back of the neck or something um, those ears were kind of looking a little bit too fairy like instead of cat like so those kinds of things is what I'm trying to like um, understand uh, wh what I'm going for here on the terms of the idea um, now when I'm getting a little bit more serious I'm trying to get a better look to the reference but again without without being so um, um, hard on me about like is, is it looking bad or whatever so it's like way more easier for me to continue with the painting because I know at the end I will get it right or kind of right so I'm not too worried about that um, obviously on the way I'm looking for reference about like the, the character uh, what changes can I do I looked for images from the old Katra from the the one from the 90s I guess and the way that suit was the the way the mask was and something that I that I, I kept a little bit from both um, versions so in the in the Catra version from the last uh, Shira series um, what I'm getting is the the general shape of the suit uh, and colors um, obviously being as a grown woman I will obviously be hinting more to the 90s version and you will see later that I did a change on the hair that I make it like a, like a pony long ponytail which is more like the original was uh, she had long hair but it didn't make sense to me that she she kept it like like super loose like this uh, it, this is too way too savage looking it doesn't look classic at all so I wanted to keep that classic kind of look so once that I put the mask on uh, kind of like the the old Katra it really I started to feel right to me that what I was doing so I, I got more uh, invested on the design so I, I I went for cat ears more cat ears like like more pointy pointing towards towards up instead of the sides and back like in the new TV show and but I did kept those kind of like long hair that comes out of the size of Katra's face um, in the in the last cartoon and I wasn't too sure about it because it's kind of like uh, I don't know adding hair to someone's sides of the face is could be a bit weird but I guess if you're a cat um, cat do have that kind of thing on the sides um, I, I don't know the correct word for the, for them but I guess you understand what I'm trying to say and then when I added this kind of like a long ponytail it really is starting to take shape for me like uh, at this point I still wasn't too sure about it I can I can still quit the <laughs> the concept right the design so it's kind of like a, a slow transformation 
this I don't, I'm not too sure about how much time this progress took this this um, whole um, concept took but well I, I it could be said that it was done I, I did it kind of like in two days of a, of a weekend so it's kind of like a f maybe almost a full day of work normally like if, if I was working straight I guess with with breaks I cannot be seated too much um, straight it's not that good for health and right now what I'm adding is just the colors that are straight from the new cartoon these colors are straight from the new cartoon and I'm trying to a little bit get a, get them a little bit more um, in harmony between each other uh, instead of using black I'm using a black with a little bit of brown and I'm repeating the same hair on the tips of the ears so this kind of like a uh, cohesive or a very um, like repeated colors throughout all the design so it kind of kept the same palette and now we have this mask with that new color that I have to say at first I didn't like it but then it kind of grew on me and now I'm just trying to make it make her a little bit prettier. Um, one thing I, w I thought I was going to have trouble was the eyes because the eyes had different different colors in the new version. I don't remember actually the last the old version was um, had the two colors on the eyes, but definitely uh, looked interesting. And now I'm just trying to just copy the same uh, shadow configuration, the shadow or let's say the lighting from the reference so it looks um, more realistic obviously I'm not trying to reinvent something here it's not necessary to change the lighting if a lighting of, of something works and again I'm not being I don't wanna copy the exact same face from the reference either so it's just something to have so I know where my mistakes are it, at least that's the way that I use the reference. I don't use the reference as a copy kind of thing. More like just, okay, uh, I can see where I'm getting this shape of the mouth off or the shape of the of the nose or, or eyes or whatever, everything. I'm, trying, I'm just trying to make it look more uh, realistic. So that's like kind of like my reference, obviously. <laughs> for how bad am I doing on that job and <clears throat> here I kind of make the the neck a little bit darker on purpose or a different kind of brownish color because I wanted the face to pop up a little and now I'm really going for it in terms of like uh, working like you can see on the way that I do the the my strokes are like faster and I'm trying to get everywhere at the same time. Um, I'm trying to advance as much as possible uh, because now I'm really liking it, what I'm doing. Um, like at this point for me, there's no turning back. I have to finish this painting. Sometimes I will start one and if I don't, I'm not feeling the vibe that, I'm, that I want people to, to see when I'm doing it, I always just stop and start a new one. Mm. It, 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 it could be looked at a bad thing, I guess, but I really need people to like see what I'm trying to get across with the designs. Um, unless it's a, a professional work, like at my job, I, w I won't usually show everything that I do. Sometimes I will do paper sketches that nobody will ever see at the work but at least I'll try to you know like pick the ones that I like the most and if that's not working then I'll do stuff on the computer and if that's not working either I would I'll just jump on VR or something and sketch something else because I really feel like the people that you show in the work to should see the thing that you're trying to 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 show and it's not just a pretty drawing or a pretty painting and that's it anyway um, I added some more li like lighter colors 
on the shadow parts because I thought the shadows were too dark and too black looking. Uh, so when you're using a lot of black on your shadows, it looks like they're dirty. Like it doesn't look like shadow, it looks more like, um, yeah, like a, like if you were on the on a very dark place and you just had a spotlight, but with a white background, which is weird. And here I went for a very purple, dark purple, bluish kind of color on the on the on the top part of the shirt or the suit because I wanted to for some reason I it made me remember of like uh, Alex Ross paintings <laughs> and he uses that a lot for the fill lighting um, there's a lot of bluish colors obviously because of the sky or whatever place it's in but I thought of it maybe more something to be with the with the um, material of the of the suit instead of just uh, lighting <clears throat> all right so at this point i'm trying to check out um where am i like what's missing here <laughs> looking at the reference that's what i stop a little uh some things that i need to add something that i don't need to add uh, like shadows for example this part of the ears was really really missing like the ears were just flat and that was it like okay i can see the shape of the ear but how does the sound enters <laughs> the head you know what i mean so he needed she needed that shadow there on the ears uh to indicate that that's where the sounds going go in uh to her brain right <laughs> so it's not just like a flat cut ear with no reason and I gotta say, shout out to Carla Ortiz, which is like a Marvel uh, artist, because if it wasn't for her in a course that I did with her like uh, last year, I think it was last year, was it like two years ago? Oh my God, time flies. <laughs> and I wouldn't even, even attempt to do this kind of thing. Uh, I was very focused, as you remember, if you have been on the channel long time, Long time ago, I, we, I will use to just put, use pictures of the head of the characters or actors or actresses, or just use a DAS model, which is use, useful today still. Um, sometimes I use that if I want to do like a big painting and I don't want to draw everything and I have to move a lot of stuff. I will use a DAS model or a 3D model of a character just to pose them and stuff like that. But that's another kind of painting that's more like an illust big illustration kind of thing like a key art for example when i do the key art for arc that's the kind of thing that i will do i will use characters in 3d to pose them so i can see where uh, try things faster like changing it and changing the camera changing the pose moving it around all that stuff but the characters um the character is something that i always struggle with to design because uh, normally I'm I'm used more I, I'm used to designing suits and things like that instead of the character itself like not really how the face looks or things like that more like how how is he dressed how is she dressed instead of the face and this is the kind of stuff that I really wanna it's not like I really want to do it but I, I want to have the skill, you know? So you can say this is kind of like practice <laughs> for that. Uh, a few days ago, well, a few days ago, like almost like a couple of months ago, I, you know that I uploaded a another Shira character, which was Glimmer. And that was what was made first on paper. And I didn't really use any reference for that one. And you can tell, you can tell that the face is not that well done. And it still looks a bit cartoony, which is, is not like a huge problem. Um, but I guess this is kind of what I really wanted to do, like having something more grounded in reality um, instead of something cartoony looking. And I feel like this kind of uh, concept could easily be in in a movie, you know, like um, if, I, if I saw a, like a Shira movie, this is what I want to see something like this very classy looking 
and almost like a superhero kind of thing. Um, and it still looks a bit cliche. <laughs> I don't know how to how to explain it, but the the shape of the the mask is very retro looking. Everything obviously was created on those uh, like uh, on the 90s. It's not like I'm a super young or anything. I remember this kind of stuff. Like I, uh, my cousin used to play with He-Man uh, toys that well, we didn't have He-Man toys, but he used to. And sometimes like, when I went to his house or something, I will used to play with them. And I don't remember this character, I think specifically, but I do remember the the other ones and like the vehicles and animals like pets, I don't know how to call them, like the tigers and stuff like that. Uh, it will be interesting to design those. Uh, I think I'm more um, comfortable, comfortable on working on like creatures and stuff like that because they don't look human. So I can cheat a little bit more or like hide behind that because humans are hard to design, you know, like the face. People, you, you guys see people all day um, every day, maybe could COVID not so much, <laughs> but uh, you are most used to finding mistakes and errors on the designs and shapes of the heads and stuff like that instead of animals. Unless you are like a very um, like Catherine, our creature uh, lead creature designer and artist, 3D artist at the studio. She's very not. Not, not knowledgeable I think is the word uh, on creatures like uh, especially birds and she could tell you right away what's wrong with something and that's a really good skill to have so there's no match in there you cannot really um, how you say that like fight about it because like dude uh, you have never seen as many birds as she, she has um, she was a beard trainer once and I think like not even like just bird trainer like really dangerous <laughs> kind of birds um, so it's not like something she's uh, making up or anything it's like she really knows what she's talking about so in terms of face um, we as people are all constantly looking at faces so we know when something is off like really quick you can tell but in animals not so much Unless you are like Cat, Catherine. Um, <clears throat> so, going back to the the this drawing, a friend made me an interesting <laughs> suggestion. Like you have to make it look more like a villain. So that's why I changed the shape of the of the holy shit. I don't, forgot the <laughs> name of the thing in English. Uh, eyebrows, I guess. Yeah, I, eyebrows and make it look a little bit more mean and because she, before she was just like a su like a supermodel wearing a mask of Catra, you know like a cosplay and also i changed the shape of the nose a little bit smaller um then i started adding a little bit of those highlights on the face because that was really missing there the the really you know like white spot of light on the nose and the and the cheeks and just trying to make everything a little bit lighter and like there's more light going on in the scene and not just a very dull painting and, vol and, and that it actually has volume <clears throat> So one last feedback that another friend told me that you have to constantly do this kind of thing, asking feedback for your friends. Some some friends will give you valuable feedback, um, some friend some friends not, because they don't want to say you like really bad stuff. So I, I I constantly kind of tell them, you, you just tell me straight away what's wrong with it, what you don't like, and everything. And you just decide later if you want to take that feedback or not. So a friend uh, told me to add like that light effect on the on the left but i took like let's say 50 percent of the feedback he wanted like a darker background kind of thing and i was like I, i'm not going to do that but i do i do gonna i'm gonna buy the idea of the lighting coming from the left and another one told me you have this kind of like a um orangey 
thing on the nose but anywhere else in the house uh, I mean on the face so you do have to put something on the either on the cheeks or somewhere somewhere else because it does look like she was she had a cold <laughs> another friend told me that looks like she had a cold so you have to balance that so I added this kind of like rubber um, uh, thing on the cheeks kind of like a blush that's the word in English <laughs> sorry and a little bit on the mouth and now I'm just adding some highlights on the hair because the hair was, was looking very not really done at all which I don't completely mind it because you can have some stuff undone so you can focus on something else that's the, the focal point will be the face so you have to concentrate on the face more than everything else and but the the hair did need some little bit of attention there so I don't wanna um, forget about it like that and I guess that's it um, I really hope you like this video guys I know I haven't uploading a long time and this is me trying to make make up for it and I'm gonna try to be more constant again with this channel um, so you guys don't have to like wait so much time to see another video so thank you very much for for watching and just leave me in the comments what you would like me to paint if you have any ideas let me know see you guys next time